So shortly after that, I wasn't happy in Leander, Texas, where I was staying with my sister and brother-in-law and their two kids. It's a bunch of family issues that went on and some ego battling, unnecessary ego battling that wasn't coming for me. And I had to move. In this time period, I had a conversation about parenthood with my father. Uh, Cause I'm, I'm sitting up here looking at my, my sister's kids now. Same shit is being inputted off of today's kids. If we tend to frequent feedback to each other and not frequent feedback to him specifically in better hopes of a better future and relationship in between father and son. We've also discovered and discussed inherently from that conversation basically how his parenting skills have affected me and also the failure that I've seen within my siblings. So I'm kind of like, I ain't, I ain't no parent myself, but I'm seeing, I'm seeing the insides of how these kids feel and what direction they probably gonna end up going next. And it's like, I only have so much control over that shit. And the thing is, is that I'm trying to guide my nieces and my nephews all into the right place. A lot of that shit's gonna come back to resentment in their parents. So, well, it does. It does, but then it comes back to a circle sometimes. I mean, that's just a highlight of our talk was whenever I discovered and made the relation of business is planted into you whenever you are young. And that's most likely where I got my knack for entrepreneurship. In the conversation, I noticed that I seen something within the conversation that I hadn't seen before, which was my father trying to create a good network for me even back then. This is gonna be a thing that I probably do now is basically narrating to y'all in a cool ass uh, cinematic way about the story of Tony Savage or how heavy the head is. Having these conversations with y'all through the camera just like this. But anyways, for viewer discretion, my apologies. I haven't been able to get all the content that I've specifically been willing to get or be able to narrate the story or the vlog while within the vlog or while within making the content. But I think just the, a better way to do that is just to do some fly shit like this. And that way I can mediate and then let y'all know what's going on in the clips anyways. So shortly after that, I wasn't happy in Leander, Texas, where I was staying with my sister and brother-in-law and their two kids. It's, it's a bunch of family issues that went on and some ego battling, unnecessary ego battling that wasn't coming for me. And I had to move. And so now, as you can see here, I'm in a different location. I am now currently at Universal City, staying with my niece and my real brother on my mama's side. And you'll see the move. All right, since the camera needed charging, this is the stuff that I'm working on putting off into the car. That's quite a family slide, man. to head out. I just came back from my part-time job that I was working at HEB and uh, let them know that I was able to get ready to start transferring to the new place that we're going to be at, San Antonio. Details ain't all that necessary, but you'll see. Right now, I'm heading out to go get some uh, coolant for this car since my check engine light came on. This car that I'm currently using right now has broke down on me several times. So, you know, just starting out in life, I still think I'm doing pretty well. This is my second car. Not that I read the first one, but the first one, it was having issues. It's currently supposed to be getting fixed on or something like that in that nature. But uh, we'll get some cooler for this car. Heading to AutoZone now. Ask them a couple of questions for it off in the tank. Hopefully that might solve the issue. Cause whenever I opened up the hood, there wasn't nothing in there. But, yeah. 
Yeah, man. Enjoy the trip. San Antonio now. Made it in on April 27th. It was a long drive, man. It was kind of scary. The car ended up shaking and shit like that. I met up with my brother-in-law. He basically got me the rest of the way down to my phone. This phone was trying to act mad stupid for some reason, so I couldn't calculate the address of where I was going to be staying at next and where I was going. So, anyways, Moral of the story, I made it. This is the new room. No longer in the man cave bedroom. Made it this far, man. Welcome to Universal City.